So now we have a third example. This time we want to evaluate the line integral over the curve C of yz dy plus xy dz. So now we have a line integral of a form and C is parameterized by alpha t being the square root of t in the ith component, t in the jth and t squared in the kth direction. And the time parameter is bounded between zero and one. So again, life is easy. We've been given the parameterization. We know that x of t is root t, y of t is t, and z of t is t square. So we just need to calculate the time derivative of each of these. So we know that dx on dt is 1 on 2 root t. That tells us in particular that dx is 1 on 2 root t times dt. We see that dy on dt is 1. So of course dy is equal to dt and dz on dt is 2t, so that tells us that dz is 2t dt. So now we just need to insert these appropriately with respect to the parameterization, in which case we see that this line integral becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of t times t squared times dt, plus the integral from 0 to 1 of root t, t, 2t dt, this is just given by replacing y with t, z with t squared. We know that dy is dt, and so on. Now let's just simplify this expression, in which case we get the integral from 0 to 1 of t cubed dt, plus 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of t squared times root t dt. And then elementary kindergarten formulas tell you that this is just 23 on 8.